Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, today's video is for those of you who are shooting 4K video or those of you who may be thinking about getting yourself a 4K camera and some ideas about editing. Today is a little bit of an experimentation for me. What I am doing and what I want to see how it works out is I have shot some 4K video and what I'm going to do is edit it on a 1080 timeline. In other words, I'm going to take some 4K video, I'm going to reduce it, I'm going to down res it to 1080. And what I'm hoping that will happen is that all that information in that giant resolution of 3840 by 2160, when I compress it down to 1080, I hope it's going to make for some outstanding picture quality. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing in Final Cut Pro 10 to accomplish this. So what I've done is I have shot some 4K video and I have assembled several clips in the timeline. I've already done a little bit of editing on it, uh, just timing out the clips, uh, put a little slow motion on it, and I've done a little bit of color grading. But I want you to look up here. I have this one particular clip highlighted. And if we go up here to the info button, you will see that it is 3840 by 2160, and it's at 29.97 frames per second. So that's what I'm working with. Now, let's go up and look at our project. So I'm going to go to Window and da, 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 where is it at, where is it at, where is it at, project properties and if you look over here you can see that my project properties are 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames and I can click here if I wanted to modify but I don't but I just wanted you to see that okay I've got 4k video into a 1080 timeline so that's what we're working with so I have pretty much everything ready to go now. I've got all my clips in the timeline. I've got those edited. I've actually put in a little bit of music. So I'll play just a little clip for you. Okay, so there's the clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and process this. I'm going to run this through to compressor and I'm going to reduce this file. But what I would really appreciate is if you, the viewer, could take a look at this and make a comment. Tell me how this footage looks. When you're watching the video, just make sure that down there at the bottom of the YouTube video player, the little gear symbol, Make sure you have that set to 1080 and just give me an opinion because I'm taking a lot of information, a lot of data in 4K. I'm squeezing it into 1080 HD. So I want to see how this looks. It'll help me to make better videos in the future. Okay, let's go ahead and send this video up to compressor da, 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 da. oops let me click into the timeline here we go I'm gonna send it to compressor I'm gonna add an output I'm gonna just select 1080 HD click OK and over here I'm gonna look at my properties real quick I think everything I don't think I'm gonna change a thing let me look at this real quick. I'm going to leave it at 20,000 kilobits. That sounds good to me. I'm not going to, uh, the more, the higher this number is right here, the generally the higher quality your video will be. But I'm going to leave it just as it sits for this test. I'm set the way I want to, so I'm going to start this batch and let it let it do its thing so I will be back in a while okay compressor has finished processing that video I'll play just a clip of it right here it's in 1080 now the quality 
that I'm looking at is, you know, absolutely fantastic. It's stellar. But so what? Let's kind of resummarize here. I've taken 4K video. I've squeezed it down into 1080 video. So at the very end of this video, you'll see this complete um, little video that I shot and. I would definitely like to hear your comments, okay? Hey, I'm Steve. I hope you have a great day, and I will see all of you in my next video.